What's up everyone and welcome to this episode of Revive Outdoors. As you can see, we're back here at the range. Uh, lots of gunfire today. It's a Friday, so everybody's here. It's a little windy as well. Um, but it's going to be perfect for testing out the new Stream Vision Ballistics firmware update that Pulsar has for the XP50. I'm um, going to be able to calculate bullet drop, see where the reticle places it, see if it's accurate, and also check out the windage indicator, which is going to be on my phone that I have to connect it to. So I will have to not, I won't be able to do that on video, but I can tell you how it works. Um, one thing I wanted to note is in my first video, so part one of this video, I talked about getting a chronograph and measuring your muzzle velocity. So what's rated on this box is 2600 feet per second and what it actually measured on my gun is 2444 feet per second so it's very important to calculate the proper muzzle velocity with a chronograph that's coming out of your gun because it's going to be different than what's on the ammo box but we're going to get everything dialed in start at 200 work to 300 and then 600 to see just how um, the the um, once you range the target just how accurate that indicator is going to be once you load that ballistic profile into your gun and then we'll play around with the windage indicator as well um, we got a, a pretty strong wind that uh, you can probably see at the flags back there in the background that's pushing uh, this way and so we're going to put that into the calculator as well and see how that works out but uh, I'll record um, as I'm talking as I'm shooting and then I'll record also in the scope so you can see what's going on uh, on both sides of the picture there okay so I am shooting a SIG Cross 308 um, with the suppressor on it uh, got the warrior tripod so I can actually stand shooting um, that way um, it replicates what I do when I'm hunting All right, let's put the first one down here and see what we got. Not bad for a first shot. And that's right where it's indicating there. We'll shoot one more and see how it goes. There you go. There's a tin ring, so I'll bring it over here for you to show you. It's definitely on. So we're we'll switch out to 300 and see how it does. All right, so we are moving now out to 300. Let's adjust everything for that. Find target 37. There it is. Let me range 37 out there hits it 301 yards. So now we have that. There's a couple of pretty quick shots there for you to show it is on at 200. Calculating everything just right as far as drop goes. Now we'll bounce out to 600 and see how the indicator does there. I will show you how that lines up. So first as you back out, range the target. And at 599 yards, there is target 37. As you can see, a little bit of a blurred image during the daylight on these, but we'll shoot and see how it does. Not bad right there. I mean, that's spot on. I mean, I would say that it's doing what it's supposed to do. I just need to do what I need to do. But I'll show you that shot so you all know it's calculating, right? Ten ring, 600 yards. First shot, not calculating any windage. Of course, we got midway windage is kind of all over the place. And then down there at the end, it's pushing to the right. But... Probably evens it out a little. There you go. I'll load up one more round. I'll load up one more round for y'all in this wind. Shoot it out at 600 just so you see. 
trying to find my target. There it is, 37. Let's put one down range. go. There's one more down range. I'd say that's pretty good. Two shots corrected a little bit there. I wanted to get back in the truck before I did a recap of the ballistics on the Pulsar scope. Um, very impressed with it. it um, you load the proper ballistics profile into your scope and it's going to do its job. Um, again, with the chronograph, you want to make sure or you want to make sure that with the muzzle velocity, you get a chronograph and you measure your actual muzzle velocity for your bullet with your gun, um, not what's off the box. And again, that mine had a significant drop in speed. So feet per second on the box showed 2600 and then on the chronograph it was 2444 feet per second <clears throat> so a big drop there um, as far as playing around with the windage on the app uh, I, I don't really care for it uh, maybe that i don't know how to properly operate it but i didn't really care for that um, but as far as the drop goes and putting your reticle um, aim it where it needs to be in the scope uh, money dead on um, very impressed. Good job to Pulsar for doing that. But um, uh, on these thermal videos, if you don't know, um, YouTube has now demonetized any thermal scope video. So if you would please subscribe, that helps me out a ton. Um, I would greatly appreciate it. Our subscribers always help um, get our content out to more people um, in the YouTube algorithms, despite it being monetized or not. But I just wanted to say thank you for watching. If you have any comments or questions in regards to this specific video, please ask away. If I made a mistake, show me grace, um, help me out, tell me what I did wrong. Um, and I will, uh, Johnny Sniper will probably tell me uh, everything I did wrong. But uh, I always appreciate the feedback and always looking to get better. I'm not perfect, but out here trying to help y'all by making these videos and really appreciate you watching. Um, if you need anything from me, don't hesitate to reach out. Thanks. See you next time. I will show you all how that lines up. So first, as you back out, range the target.